A push on Beacon Hill to make tax-exempt organizations pay their fair share. Last month, Five Investigates highlighted the hundreds of millions of dollars in property taxes that Boston's losing out on. Our Mike Bodette talked with a lawmaker who's proposing a statewide solution to the shortfall. Boston has something called a pilot program, which stands for payment in lieu of tax. Tax-exempt institutions are asked to make voluntary payments, but the amounts they actually give to the city vary widely. Now a bill on Beacon Hill would require payments to cities and towns. There are over 23,000 nonprofits um, that fall under this clause. $22 billion of property. State yeah, Representative like, oh, Erica Eiderhoven wants to give communities across the state the power to require payments from larger nonprofit organizations that don't pay property taxes. Rather than having these sort of voluntary agreements with nonprofits, to be able to say, actually, we're going, this is a tax. If the bill becomes law, cities and towns could force tax exempt institutions like colleges, hospitals, and museums with property value at or above $15 million to make payments equal to 25% of the property tax amount they'd pay if they weren't tax exempt. About 25% of municipal budgets cover public works, snow plowing, uh, you know, police, fire. These are all services that everyone relies on. With Boston's voluntary pilot program, the city asks for that 25% payment. But half of what they pay can be made in the form of what's called community benefits. That includes everything from full tuition scholarships and free film screenings to funding for community health centers and free admission to museums. Enid Eckstein is part of the Pilot Action Group, which is pushing for greater transparency, input, and revenue. We believe that there needs to be clear clarity as to what really is a community benefit. And we think the city should basically say it should go to housing or it should go to programs to alleviate structural racism or it should go to the greening of the city or whatever. Five Investigates teamed up with Northeastern University's School of Journalism to review pilot payments and community benefits in Boston. Across the board, tax-exempt institutions are falling far short of what the city's requesting. Colleges contributed only 68% of the requested amount. Hospitals gave 91%. Museums donated just 35%. It adds up to a nearly $30 million shortfall. Representative Eiderhoven says the bill would erase that shortfall in Boston and beyond. It's really giving municipalities that extra tool um, so that they're able to raise revenue. Do you think this has a realistic chance of becoming law? I think there's been a lot more interest in this than many other revenue proposals, so I'm very, I am very optimistic. Mayor Wu campaigned on reforming the pilot program, but two years into her term, she still hasn't announced any reforms. Groups representing tax-exempt institutions have defended what they're paying and the community benefits they provide. Full disclosure, Northeastern, whose journalism school partnered with us on this story, and where I also work as a professor, is one of the tax-exempt institutions that makes pilot payments. Mike Bodette, Five Investigates.